Hello and welcome back to the second part of creating a um, door for an Apple IIe uh, monitor. So uh, at this point, as you can see, we have done the door itself. And if you see it over here, it looks really similar. On the other side, there's just, you know, the little logo over here that we have it, the hole over there. And I actually was playing around and I added this little piece over here. So, I mean, nothing fancy, it's just, you know, one of the, the other lines. So, um, what do we need to do? We need to do one, two, three, four, five holes. And I am not creating this these ones because these ones were created by option eight some time ago. So I am not going to, you know, walk under steps. They did a great job. So, um, and they're already available to print. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to do the holes right here. So same thing, you know, we start by measuring things again. Everything is measuring, measuring, measuring. So you gotta get very used to this. Okay, so from here to here, same thing. Oh, and when we need to do this, this little lip. So from here to here is 9.5. So we're gonna start this hole over here. I'm just gonna flip it so we can work on it. This here is gonna be here. So from here to here is gonna be, oh, let me go back to, to normal view. This is 9.5 and I'm going to go on top of it and go close. So from this edge and the snap, I'm going to take it off so it doesn't just snap whatever he wants. And here's the first hole where I start. It's going to start here. So I'm just going to take a hole. Let's see how the holes are. There are two holes and a little thing over here. So each hole is, now what I need to master is how to use this. Yeah, there it is. And it's seven, exactly seven um, millimeters or millimeters, you want to call it like that. And height is two and a half. So it's seven and two and a half. So this is going to be seven and height is going to be 2.5 here. And of course this has to be centered here. So what I'll do is just select both and tell it to be centered. Wow. What happened here? Okay. What am I doing here? Boop. I selected again, just these two elements. And I go to center. Oh, I did it wrong. I clicked on this one. So I'm centering it over here. Now I'm just going to move it to the edge again, view to the top, go close and see that I got to be touching this. And then I'm just going to move it in. It doesn't have to be that big. So I'm just going to cut it like this. It doesn't matter because it's a hole. So there's one hole and I just control D duplicate it. And then with, with, um, shift uh, key i just move it so it just stays in the same um, distance and then what's the distance between these two it's oh and i move it already you gotta be careful here so here to here it's exactly two so i'm gonna take this and i'm gonna say two that's the distance between these two and um, go close, center. So I'm gonna go here and this, oh, oops. This one should be moved up to here. Okay, I did it wrong. So let me move it around again uh, like this. Click on it so I can center it, then click on top so it I can see it 
directive off so I was I was wrong so now I'm here and here we go so there we are so let me take this off out of here and there's my two my two holes up here these two holes are exactly where they should be oh now that I realize that there's a lip over here so the lips here but it's not over here so I need to make sure that so this should be moved down okay so I got an error here you see um, where I see where I'm here there's like a little lip over here and I'm, I'm all the way to the edge uh, if if you see it this is all the way to the edge so this should be in a little bit so I got I gotta check out my measurements again <clears throat> but what's gonna happen is I'm gonna have to move this this is exactly eight no six so um, I'll click on this and I say six and this should be yeah I'm wrong that's okay that's all right so this line over here should be moved over here uh, and I'm gonna just put it to touch the line so this one should be actually here so how do I move it because I think let's see how it's done Boop. take out take out I'm I'm taking out all the shapes but yeah I think I I messed up no problem so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this first I'm gonna take these two that I created and this one and I'm just gonna hide them so I don't select them over here. So because I, I messed up all these and I'm thinking I'm, I'm gonna destroy a lot of things that I did. So undo, 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 undo. Okay. So let's say redo this. So I'm gonna also take all these red things that I did because it's got, they're going to disappear and I just deselected I'm selecting I have selected only the red parts and I'm going to hide them again okay I'm going to continue then I'm going to go back and, and ungroup things I'm ungrouping oh, and, and hopefully I, I you understand what I'm trying to do so I went back of what I was working on but I shouldn't have left this leap like this so I should make this hole to go all the way to the outside so what I gotta do is I gotta take this clear transparency thing I don't know why it's not selecting it maybe it's still this is selecting but this is not selecting this is selecting the whole thing and this one should be selected differently so maybe it's gonna is assembled yeah here it is so I'm selecting this transparent part I'm just gonna pull it out so it goes all the way out okay why because I need this the lip is gonna be over here this lip and I'm gonna recreate this internal one okay so now that I got that I'm, I'm gonna have to cut it over here too and here it's okay um and i gotta live here as well. so let's do this i'm gonna select this group and now that it's all grouped i don't want to lose all the work that i did before so i'm gonna come over here and i'm gonna say show so it's gonna show all the things that i worked later even my my holes so i'm gonna move this this is my I'm gonna change the color so you, you understand what I'm thinking about. This is my measuring device, let's say. Okay, and over here we still have the hole. We still have the, 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 the rest of the lines. The only thing is that these lines, and they're not bad, actually. Um, the only thing that I gotta make sure is that from here to here, it's exactly... Two, two millimeters 
No, it's not gonna let it hold on. Uh, take it like this, I put this in, and then I open it up. Um, so let's see. In, in. Oh, come on. There. It's true exactly. From here to here it's true. So I need to make sure that let's take my measuring tool and put it over here and the width is gonna be two. And let me go close, make sure that it's on the edge. It is not. Now it's on the edge. Okay. So now all this. So I gotta create another one that comes through here, but the, all these are going out. So are are you know what I mean? This 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 oh selected the wrong one. Oh I'm just gonna select them like this. So I select them all like this, and I go closer and deselect this and deselect the background. So I, now I got selected only the red ones. And then I'm gonna go closer, I'm gonna move it up. You see the lines? There you go. So, then I'm gonna take this, duplicate it, move it over here, and then I'm gonna move it 90 degrees. And this is going to be my, uh, this line over here. Uh, I hope you're following me. This is gonna be this one, okay? So, this has to go all the way to the outside. And, and then I gotta go closer and see where it is. So select it, select it from the center. I'm gonna have to redo this one too. Over here, I'm gonna have to make a hole over here. Because if, if you see, this goes all the way out. So I'm gonna duplicate this, put it over here and until I touch, then I move it out. See what I'm doing here? I'm gonna create a hole over here. You see when, when it goes dark? Let me go closer. You know when you're touching the, the edge, so when you when you go over here and boom, it goes down, you, you go up a little bit and until it, yeah, there, only until it doesn't touch anymore. Same thing, if you move it back, you see it's, it's going dark and then one back, and you're exactly at the edge. So what I'm doing here is I'm gonna get rid of this. And at the same time, this is gonna be my new edge. And this, I gotta take it out all the way through here. So I'm gonna take this, center in here, so I can I can see. Now I'm gonna go to, yeah, you see the red? Or here, go red on the edge. Now you wanna get the red on the center. And then you move it, so then it will not make it wider. It will just continue going like uh, from the center. Again, I select over here so I can, okay, where's my, there it is. And I go all the way here. So let's put them all together. Before I do that, I gotta take this, my measure out, and I'm going to hide my two holes right now just because I want to reuse them. So let me see, how can I select it? I put it kind of straight and then I select it and one shape. I want it to be gray again, oh, light gray. So I can see everything. So now you see that I have it just like this with a little lip on the outside and this goes all the way up. So I'm, I'm good over here. I'm good on, on this on this part, you see? It goes all the way up. Uh, I still gotta do this little lip. I, I don't see if you can see it. It's like an extra lip. So I gotta work on that one in a bit. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue. I'm, I'm gonna do the holes, these two holes. And those are the ones that I was working on. Uh, again, to, to go closer, I go and put something close by and then I, I get away a little bit. Sorry, I was going back and forth. And then I'm gonna show the two holes that I made and it was okay, everything was fine. I actually should just take them and just pull them a little bit, just, just because. And then I'm gonna duplicate them and move them out. 
So this is the first hole I'm gonna put it together and there are my holes. Then, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is not right because I center it at the hole. Oh no, yeah, it's good, it's good. And then this little lip up here, it's exactly two by two by four. So I'll just duplicate this one and I use it for to do my two by four. Go closer. So I go down and this is gonna be two. No, this is gonna be four width and two high. And then this is going to be here. And move it up. I'm not crazy about it. Um, you see? It? <sighs> I guess it is. It looks smaller here, you see? Let me see if I can go. Yeah, you see it? That little thing? It looks smaller than it is here. Although I'm, I'm really, really close. So we go center it. Yeah. So first of all, yeah, this is not, I'm not, I don't know what's happening over here. I may have done it wrong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go front so I can see it exactly in the front. I'm going to measure it from here to here. And it's three. Yeah. So from here, from this point to this point should be three. Let me duplicate this one, make another color so we can really think about this as my measure and then from the edge to the top. Yeah, I, I got I got it wrong, but this is this is more weird now because then that means that my hole should be up and that hole that means that this is not this is really weird. Okay, let's see. My total height from here to here is eight and a half. Let's see if this is eight and a half total height. From oh, hold on. Mm, that is a problem. I'm doing this once. These edges are not the, the real height. So let me see. They 8.5. Oh, undo. Let me go to the exact. Oh, so if I look at it like this, yeah, my lips are, are, are smaller. Oh, that's why. Okay. So I, I made it smaller than this so these internal ones are, are higher all of them and that's an issue oh boy okay well you know let's select it ungroup again ungroup again and these ones at least I'll, I'll take care of these ones later but at least these ones I'll make them higher so I'm gonna select them almost all this and this unselect this and I should have only the red ones selected and if I move them like this oh it's moving everything well let's do 8.5 everything now something is wrong over here let me take a yellow and go really close and go front. Oh no, that's a real size. But this one outside, this the red one is not 8.5. So now I gotta select this, this, this. See, that's the thing. I, I did it wrong in some of them, but it's okay. It's a good thing that I caught it. Oh, what I did. Oh, okay, I'm not selecting very well. So one, two, three, 
four, five. Let's do this one, and so I'll do the other ones later. You see, eight point five. Okay. Now this one over here is not selected. This one has to be eight point five. Yeah. This one also. No, this is eight point five. It's okay. And then the ones over here. This, this, and this should be eight point five. And I'm looking right now at the internal ones. They are this one and all the lines inside are shorter. And let me see the back. Oh, maybe that's a problem. No. Yeah. The back is seven and the front is 8.5. That was a problem that this is wider than this and I didn't realize. And actually everything is the same size. Okay, so I gotta go back and do it again. Um, all of them are short. Okay. So let's do this. Boom, boom, boom. That's what I don't like too much about this program that it doesn't allow you to select too much. I'm gonna select this, then I'll select, no, it's okay, I gotta select this one too. And then I gotta select this and this. And those are gonna be, oh, not this. This is okay, 8.5. And why is it 9.11 now? Wow, this is weird. So it's gonna be seven. And this should be 8.5. Yeah, 8.5, good. And this is also gonna be 8.5. And that's the difference. There's a, the little lip is that to make the, the difference over here. So I'm gonna to have to add over here and put a lip over here and put a lip over here. But we're good right now. So you see, yeah, the lip's gonna be over here. Oh, whoops. And uh, what about this? This should be, yeah, this is not a point. This should be. Seven two. So yeah, I gotta make a, this, this, and over here I gotta make them higher. Now let's go back to the problem that we had. The, the real problem here was this. This is what originated everything. All my remeasuring. Um, so from here to here, this eight point five. Oh, and now this I put it eight point five, but it. It shouldn't because these should be actually, um, yeah. The problem is that I am I'm not. I should move this down. Oh my God. Okay, this should move down. Or, oh no. So that's a problem I have. That it. This is eight point five, but it should be eight point five from the bottom so what I do is oh this is what I can do I it was not on the bottom so I'm gonna say over here I just put zero and it will be touching the bottom you see it's touching the bottom that, that line over there so now the yellow also should be the same size let's see yeah they're good so again I don't I don't like it too much but I'm gonna have to live with that learn to live with this this oh, i'm gonna move this over oh no this you would like this oh am i moving something else no that's it so then i move this this and i'll oh, do again move them all the way up to it touches the, co the the edge and that's gonna show me that i have it right Okay, so I'm gonna delete this because now I'm gonna use this three to create the other one. Duplicate, move it over here. I actually should move it. It only has two, so I gotta move it over here. So undo, 
I'm gonna make it small, kind of, and it goes in between the th one, two, three on the third. So what I'll do is hopefully I'll be able to take it and move. Oh no, it doesn't let me move. Take it and move it. No, no. Problem is that I have I gotta go closer to be able to move it, and then with shift. I move it but it doesn't let me move around so I'm just gonna have to keep on going and keep on going and I think it's here one two three one two three and it's in the center but now I gotta I gotta measure it so this is from the edge all the way over here it starts at uh 58 exactly so same thing i take my measuring and i say 58 then i move this and align it so see it from the top move it over here uh again go here go closer and then move it and then what I do is select these two and I say align them. Of course, the alignment appears up instead of appearing next to it, but it's okay. And then I select this. Oh, God. This thing in the box. You can hide these things, you know? But, <clears throat> so you can select this, shift this, and this. And then I have to move them a little closer. So I can, yeah, there it is. So I think it's an exact measure. Take out my measurement. And I think I got my holes right. I'm gonna make them one shape. <clears throat> Again, gray. Uh, let's see how it looks. So we got the holes over here. So they're there and they're in the right pl base, place and I gotta make this this lip and I gotta make these three holes. Let's continue. So for this lip over here, it measures one width and it goes all the way around, goes up and goes over here. So let's see. That means that it goes all the way around here. So this is fine. This is the right height. Then over here, it needs to end up in the corner. I'm looking at it like this. Uh, how do I show it so you can see it the same way? Yeah, something like this. You see it? Yeah. So now I gotta continue the leap over here and go just slightly a little bit like a round thing. So that's gonna be easy. We just do one quick. Let me get again a piece, then make it one with it's okay now it's red so you guys can see how it's done and then this of course goes all the way here mm -hmm. so basically it has to be just in the corner and here it starts over here and it goes all the way down and then there's like a little corner but I don't have a I'll do the corner later again this this is what we're doing now the little corner over here it's rounded in this case but I'll just I'll just make it straight and we'll round it later yep 
So let me just duplicate, move it over here. You, so, you see me duplicating when doing Control D. So I go over here, and you gotta go closer when you want to do this. If not, you see it, it makes you force you to put a number when it's on top of it. It's a little quirk that uh, Tinkercad has. Um, so I'll go all the way up here. And oh. it doesn't have to be that exact because 3D printers are not that accurate, but I still want to make it as close as possible. So you see there's this little lap over here, but it's almost, yeah, you see it's almost, you know, there's no, no important. So then what I do is it has to be all the way up. Uh, again, I don't like it. So you can see it down here. I don't like that. So I like to put it up like Point ten, so it doesn't show underneath. That's some quickness I have. Anyway, it, oh, damn. Uh, no, I, I got select both. I got to pull it down until it touches here. I'm gonna go closer, and when I do this. You see it shows a line so it's it's almost but there so that that means it's going to be straight then i gotta do the same thing on the other side so i'll just take this i can also copy it then go back here and again that quickness of tinkercad that doesn't let you just move around or if somebody knows how to do it but i i never found it and i just paste it over here So this is this side, you see? So I'm gonna do this, everything is, oh, I gotta do this, this, and this. In fact, I should just delete, I'm gonna delete my measurement here. I should select this, shift click over here, copy, then go closer here and say paste. And I'm just pasting it the same way that it was over there, but I'm just gonna flip it and now I have this piece over here so what I do is I, I do it like this view go really close oh and then with my keys you see I go one and then the other way until it shows and then I'll go yep and I'll go back one so I'm exactly in the corner. Oh, yeah, no, I'm good, I'm good. Then I take this, I take it in center, and I move it back like that. Um, am I good? Yeah. And then I need to make this the same. So I'm gonna take option, oh delete take this duplicate move it over here again yeah you see oh what am I doing there take it from the center no, I didn't took it from the center. You see, I took it from here. So you gotta wait, or we're gonna go closer and take it from the center and move it all the way over here. See, you see, it's it has its quirkness. It's it's not perfect. Move it all the way over here. Then I'm gonna duplicate 
bring this over here. See, red, I gotta take the other one, but it's so different that I gotta go so close. Oh, you see, I took it from the corner, not the center. Click, and then it has to go red. You see, red, 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 the center one. So when you take it, it, it won't change the shape of the rest of it. Now, I don't know why this is slightly taller than the rest. Uh, I mean, just to make it, let me see the other side. Maybe I messed up over there too. No, here. Oh, I got it on the same size. Uh, why is not? Well, these three should be the same size then. So, this, 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 and this should be the same height. They're not. Now they are. Again, I'm, I'm being a little bit too too much because this is so small that it won't make a big difference. But you know, put them all together, put them to gray again, and there they are. So I got this is the same size now with the lip. So that's a little lip over there, and then I just need to make the holes over here. Now the problem is I cannot take this out, so I'm just gonna kind of. I, I can see that there's a hole over there that that makes this get in, but it's, this is open, so it, it opens. So I, I gotta close it with some pliers and then push it in to take it out, but I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna risk to, to break it. So anyway, I'll, you know, the first thing I gotta do is I gotta measure from here to here. Should be, it's exactly, 44 and a half. So you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this and then click and say 44.5. That's what it is between here, from here to here. And I'll just put these two together and I'll make sure they are Aligned to the left, so I am accurate over here. So my hole goes over here. So right now I'm like this. My hole, it's basically a hole from the top, and it should show three. It's it's gonna be three, uh, three millimeters height, and from here, and the hole itself is. 5.5 no 15.5 so the whole width is 15.5 the height is whatever it is from 3 so I need to make this this is gonna be 3 and then I'll put this over here. So you see what I'm doing, hopefully. You will um, see that I am. I got this. Then I got to move it up, up to three. There is three. And I'll just move it in using shift so it doesn't move. You see, I made they made this. Why is this? Am I sure that I'm right? Because this shouldn't be on top of this. This should be here. So let's see my measurement again. From here to here, I may be wrong. 
Oh, I measure it from here. Yeah. From here to here is... 31 or 32? 32. So after this should be 32. 32. And this should be starting here. Let's make sure that we're kind of accurate. Yeah. And then now we're good. Yeah. We're in the right spot. Three. Okay. So now let's let's do it right from this edge to this. This should be exactly 134. So I start here. Yeah. And then I say 134. Oh went the other way let me see uh, let me go closer here am I touching it no now I am 134 and then I duplicate this one and I put it over here let's go closer and see how yeah I'm not close now there I am there it is so there's my second one and then from here to here is less than 134 it's 123 so the next one is let's do it like this um 123 And this I don't know if this is the way it should be or the guys that created Tinkercad decided to do it like this, but this is the way I understand it because that's oops, that's how I've I've been able to do my stuff. And um again the, the tutorials that I've I found on, on Tinkercad are not that that good and I had to kind of teach myself uh, Tinkercad so so there we are um, now how does this work again I don't want to break this this little piece but I think this you gotta push it in and this is this part you see you can kind of separate it over here so this is yeah yeah so this is a plastic part my concern is that how does it get together do i have a hole over here So I think this is uh, the whole part and uh, I just gotta go and check. Uh, here it is. I, I went on online and looked for the hinge to see how it's me take this and put it over here in my screen so you see how this really is this is okay yeah so there's a hole over here there's a piece over here of plastic and then the hinge goes all the way out perfect so that means that this is part of the this little piece is part of the so this part is exactly f um, five wide and uh, 
14.5 so 5 by 14.5 14.5 and uh, the width this one is 5 the height is whatever it is so I'm just gonna put it up one and then I'm gonna put it over here of course my three holes are gonna have to come out so I'll just take them and then I'll just pull them out because I just want to use this part. In fact, I'm going to make them smaller. And now that I have this, I'm, I'm just going to put them together now that I have it before I go anywhere else. So I got my holes over there already. Why? It says three, but it doesn't touch no this is not good uh, they should be touching the the ground you know this this is the ground so I'm gonna take them all and I'm gonna pull them down so they can touch jeez as you can see it's a little bit difficult so I want to go there there it is <sighs> yeah it's not easy to work in 3d join now the oh god okay i'm gonna go up are they selected oh they're not one two no one, no, no, so it has to get, go up there. I have to do it one by one. Boom. There. should be all right yeah I think they're good yeah they're good now this little part is what is between this should be there and it should be coming up out like that let's go closer boom There should be a hole over here now how's that hole you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a trick here and this is something that maybe you will you will find oh where do i got it um that is tl i should have it around here hold on i'm looking for that bezel stl from option eight. Uh, uh -oh, I'm looking for that little piece. Here it is. So I'm going to download it. Um, download. Here's the hinge. Um, open and then I'm just gonna say import choose a file from my desktop there's a hinge import 
and I'm kind of cheating but this is good because I need to know the specifics oh there was an error oh god why it doesn't let me do it can I do drag and drop I don't think so uh, Boom file, let me bring this over here and see if I can download. It should be working. Import. Just file. Inch. Yeah, 19 by 15. Import. Oh, now it, it did it. Okay, good. So here's my STL. Oh, it's a two piece. Yeah. Anyway, um,. What I'll do is I'll just flip it and move it to where it should be. And it should be over here. You see, it goes like this. So this has to be moved over here. And then I need to make a hole exactly like this. So it should this this over here you see the hole and I should leave some slack over there do you see what I'm doing I'm trying to make a hole that fits in here I'm leaving some space so it has some slack and of course I, I, I leave it kind of wide but it's very tall so I'll just make it small until it covers it so hopefully this way when it enters it closes and then enters here and stays there I don't know if I should leave more slack because this already goes out a lot so I think I should leave it like this you know it should be as wide as this and then I'll just make the hole over here all the way so oh of course this would be nice if it wasn't this goes here so this should go up also here they should be taller at least like that you see what I'm doing I'm doing a, a hole that allows this whole thing to get in. I think I'm good. If I put this all the way in, should be able to, yeah. Yeah, it actually should be able to get this in, this in, yeah. The hole is, uh, I should make a little bit bigger just in case. It's 10.7, let's do it 11. Down a little bit, do you see? If I move it like this, actually, I should give it a little bit more slack 11.5. Because remember, when, when you put something in there, it there's always have to be some 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 space to be, be able to move a little bit. I think I'm good now. So now that I have this. I have to take this and this, copy it, actually group it, okay, um, nope, undo, I cannot group it because then it won't do the whole, the whole, the both holes, so I'll just copy them, and I can see that this is not, see, yeah, this is not centered. This should be actually, this thing should be over here. And then I should make this touch over here and touch over here. 
I'm just gonna do that because I, I don't I prefer to be a little bit bigger than yeah so I'll then take these two copy them then come over here um, um, I'm gonna move this guy over here and then I'm gonna paste it over here and put it there I gotta make sure that it's there. So you, you see what I'm saying, uh, what I'm doing? I'm trying to move a little bit up. There it is. So when this goes in, it also enters there. Oh, you see, it has to be here. So yeah, it fits. See, I got a little bit of slack. Uh, I think it's a little bit too much up. Okay, what happened here? So I'm gonna move this out, select, select, and move one down. Okay, and then I gotta do the same and copy, move this guy up. And put it over here. Go closer. Put it this way now. There. Paste. So paste it. I think this is good. Why is it up here? up here and this is mm, this is weird let me see oh when I pasted it maybe went up yeah because this is not flushed yeah you see those two went up so it should be flushed to the floor So when I paste it, it doesn't paste it in the exact same place. So it it went up. So I gotta take this, this, and pull it down until it gets flush. There, there it is. And with this, I think I'm good. I'm done. I'll select it. And now let's go closer and take a good look at this. So I'm looking at this like this. It has the three holes, the three holes, one, two, three. It has this little lip over here. There's another lip over here. There it is. And if we move it around, we can see that there's that lip, that lip this one this one the hole over here hole over here i think i'm good um see and the the ones that that, that are from option eight they will fit perfectly oh god they will go in there and clip they'll get in there perfectly bloop, bloop. okay so i'm gonna erase this anyway i don't want it in my file and if you want to see it from underneath, from the top, there it is. So there you go, guys. You know, and, and yeah, these real round edges that that can be later with a, a little, or you can round it with some with some uh, um, sanding. But your basic door is here and it's working. Uh, well, not working. It's ready for three D, and we'll test it. We'll test it when we have a chance. So yeah, the, the hole is here and this is, yeah, I thought it was going to be a line, but no, it's, it's, it's actually in, yeah, pretty good shape. All right. So I think we're done. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Um, if somebody wants to, oh, somebody told me that I should do this. I think it's 45. Yeah. Oh, it may print. Yeah. It may print like this. Oh yeah. Look. 
I'm gonna send it out to print on my 3D printer. It, it fits. So if you print it like this, it, it will fit in a, in a 320 by 320 uh, 3D printer. Anyway, I think this is good. This is done. Um, I'm going to share the file with some people to see if they can make it, um, you know, work and they, they um, you know, they can uh, print it and it works. So uh, remember to like this. Remember, I'm going to be um, sorting a bunch of things, uh, giving away a bunch of things when I get 1500. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and um, make a lot of comments. Share with your friends, tell everybody so they can subscribe and they can learn a little bit more about doing these 3D things in Tinkercad. Okay, so thank you very much and see you next time.